even for the most seasoned commuter, travel around London can sometimes be a bit confusing. But if you're deaf or blind, travel on the tubes and buses can be a different challenge altogether. Campaigners say understanding the troubles on public transport for those with disabilities should be a priority for the capital's next mayor. And that's exactly what Transport for London has been trying to find out, with the trials of two distinct innovations for the buses and tubes. For the buses, you have this. 24, 2, Hampstead Heath. A Bluetooth hearing loop installed on route masters for people with hearing aids so that they can tune in to the stop announcements. Before the hearing loops um, came around, especially on the transport, um, there was a lot of background noise going on and people sometimes talking loudly. You can't simply hear what the bus driver is saying. This is important that you are able to use the loop system, switch off the background noise and be able to listen directly. But it's not without its problems as those taking the trials have found that the complicated electronics on the route master can interfere with the Bluetooth signal. For blind people on the tube, TfL has partnered with the Royal London Society of Blind People, with the help from a £700,000 grant from Google, to fund an app that supports people's movement with audio cues, currently being trialled at Euston Station. I think it's really encouraging to see how Wayfinder is developing and they're making changes to make it guide people even more effectively. Being dependent on station staff to assist you when you're traveling can be quite time consuming and Wayfinder will allow disabled people to travel independently which will mean that the public view disability in a different light. This is not the end of our personal customer service. This changes nothing to the fact that if somebody wants that kind of personal touch or, or actually isn't as confident going through the station, then of course we'll always offer that. Um, this is additional. This is for a lot of our uh, visually impaired passengers. Uh, customers want to do it on their own and it just gives that independence and, and, and that's what it's there for. And of course, if you can make that network wide, that then gives real freedom to people. And the trials aren't just for the technology to improve. They're also part of a London Assembly investigation by the Transport Committee into how to better the network. We try very much to go for, you know, the, the, the common sense approach. Uh, we've looked at various aspects of disability uh, in the past on the transport network. And people on the transport system will tell you they need to get the information from a variety of different channels. If there are people with disabilities or multiple disabilities, that kind of thing, uh, we'll never lose the need for good staffing. But with the tech in its infancy, people who are deaf or blind may have a while before they can travel seamlessly around the capital.